Hey, how's it going? Well, I was in bed most of the day with a migraine. That was a lot of fun. I'm finally doing a lot better than that. Um, but I want to address two things. One of them is some of Bering's fans. I'm sorry, some of you are just completely toxic. I guess some of you have been going after uh, fresh TV and not just in a way where you're saying, you know, please, uh, you know, change your, please reconsider or something like that. I mean, because the thing is, I mean, Bering obviously worked with fresh TV, the ones that made Total Drama Island. Bering obviously worked with them because he has his channel back. I guess people, uh, some of Bering's fans were going after Fresh TV, including one, the one that has nothing to do with Total Drama Island. They're going after the one that's in New Zealand, that's geared towards youth, leaving harassing, racist, bigoted comments. And that really depresses me. You know, I've said before that Bering has some really, really toxic fans. Some, not all of them, obviously. And after Bering made a video about some guy named Danny, after Kevin Logan made a video about Kevin's friend Danny, and Bering was showing that, well, you know, uh, 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 well, this other person over here tried to dock drop me. Bearing, you've already been dock dropped by Encyclopedia Dramatica. It's been like that for several days now. So you think that is justification to threaten to dock drop someone completely different? Great. And let me guess, there will be a bunch of Bearing fans that will come here and tell me that I'm wrong or that I'm a cuck or that I'm whatever. Bearing can have a nice disposition, but some of the things that he says show either an extreme ignorance or shows extreme stupidity or shows extreme obliviousness. Okay, Bering can be a nice person when he wants, but he chooses not to be that way. And the part that isn't nice about him is what he bases his channel on. So, yeah. And so this leads me to the next part of this video where I'm going to talk about the concept of Post-truth. Post-truth, huh? We now live in a post-truth era. Wow, that's so fucked up. I've had a number of people leave comments on my last couple videos about us being in a post-truth era. So I decided to look that up, that, that phrase up. Holy shit. That makes me just want to stop making videos. Makes me want to just stop YouTube altogether. You know, if people are going to believe me in something that I'm talking about just because I said it, I'm sorry, that's stupid. If you're not looking up the things that I say, you're not fact-checking me. You're not fact-checking your own biases. You're not fact-checking other things that you read on the internet. What the fuck? Now, I know I've been guilty of this once in a while, but holy shit, all this disinformation out there and People aren't going to fact check it. You're just gonna go with whatever confirms your biases. All this fake news out there. And the only thing that people want to point out, I mean, it's the same thing that's that's going on on everything else. The only thing people want to point out is, uh, well, mainstream media, they're the ones that are really putting out fake news. They're the real fake news. The real fake news. Even just that phrase by itself is, is, is just, really? Real fake news, the real fake news. Yeah, I kind of give up, I, I, I just kind of give up. Um, I don't know whether the migraine that I had earlier today was due to stuff that I'm thinking about or whether it was something that I ate or whatever, but it seems likely that it's something that I ate. Yeah, I, I, I just about give up. Essentially, what's happening here on YouTube is the phrase, the truth is a lie. That's essentially what's happening here. And I don't really know if I want any part of it. 
I don't, I don't think I want any part of this. I'm not really interested. I, I haven't been for a while, but I, I'm not really interested at all in what a lot of, uh, uh, of these uh, YouTube personalities are saying on YouTube. I am just finally sick of all the drama. I'm sick of all the posturing. I'm sick of everything being blamed on those who want to improve things. I'm sick of looking at the bullying, watching the results of bullying, while there are people that, well, there, there's no such thing as bullying on the internet. All right. And then there'll be someone who says, see, see, Kazoom always says it goes back to bullying. Well, there is a definitely a problem with that on this platform. But the majority of the problem isn't bullying itself. It's the fact that people are believing that the truth is a lie. That we're in a post-truth era. Well, in a post-truth era, there's no fucking point of trying to talk about anything. I'm more discouraged right now about this platform than I have ever been. And I know that with as many subscribers as I have, that I have a certain amount of power. But at this point, I don't know what to do with that power. I, I just feel like it, people are collectively just going insane on this platform. Insanity has taken over. The patients have taken over the insane asylum, essentially. With the weather that we're having, um, it's not likely that I'm going to be able to make many videos of just walking in the forest. My sleep schedule has been such that I can't seem to be up during the day. And we've got, you know, we're in the time of us having the shortest days. I don't know what this means for the future of my channel. I know that I'll still have some bug up my ass, so to speak, and I will uh, make videos about whatever, you know, is on my mind. This isn't healthy for me. Some people have told me that, hey, you know, maybe you should take a break. This isn't healthy for you. Yeah, and I definitely need to cool off on a, a lot of these subjects because there is no... We're in a post-truth era, and people are going to believe what they believe. If something I say or anyone else on YouTube says clashes with someone's narrative, they're not going to fact check. Then on subjects like Islam and Muslims, people are going, Islam, 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 Islam's what you need to worry about the most in the United States. And then I'll bring up statistics showing, you know, well, this is how many Muslims there are in this country. These are the statistics of, of terrorist attacks in the United States. And uh, no, no, Islam, Islam, Islam. Okay, what, what do I need to say to get people to look at this differently? Well, there's nothing I can say to make people look at this differently. Facts don't matter. Truth doesn't matter. We're in a post-truth era. Same thing with uh, uh, racism. Well, post-truth era, you know, the only real racism is racism against white people and everything else doesn't exist. No matter how many statistics, no matter how many facts are brought up, no matter how, no matter how many studies there are, none of that matters. Nobody takes uh, what's going, what is being talked about at any university seriously. Um, intellectualism is out the window. Education is out the window. Oh, all education is just a, uh, it's just indoctrination. Okay, okay. I mean, it, it, everything's fucking falling apart in that regard. You know, at, at this point, I'm just like, what's, what's the goddamn point in even trying? The only people that are going to listen are the ones that already think that way. So I'm just preaching to the choir. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, I can preach to the choir. Well, that's not why I make this. That's not why I make videos. I don't make videos to preach to the choir. And apparently that's all I'm going to be able to do because facts don't matter, statistics don't matter, studies don't matter. The only things that matter are tabloid news and anti-intellectualism, anti-education propaganda. All that matters is your bias. Because, you know, again, the, the only real racism is, is the racism against white people and nothing else is important. I just, I, I, 
I'm just at a loss. And all I can really do, it seems, is preach to the choir. I know that there have been some exceptions. I know that I've helped some people here and there. And I, I really, like rant with Jeff, he's talked about how I've, I've gotten him to think about things that uh, he wouldn't have thought about. There's a number of people who have talked about the fact that I've gotten them to think about things they normally wouldn't. But I've just sort of post-truth. How fucking depressing. I suppose I'll work more on music and other artistic things. But for right now, I... I am so disillusioned by this platform. And I don't see Google figuring out a way to do anything about it. Google can't seem to figure out how to get their head out of a paper bag. While we have a whole bunch of people on the alt-right and the right saying... Uh, oh, uh, our freedom of speech is going out the window, and and uh, and we're 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 not being listened to at all. Nobody's paying attention to us. And I'm saying to myself, um, you're getting more attention than you ever have, but you're complaining that you're being censored and you're not getting any attention. Fuck you. Yes, dear alt right, fuck you. You've pretty much taken over this platform, but. You're being censored and nobody's listening to you. Right. You whiny, close-minded, thin-skinned, pathetic children. Fuck you. Fuck you and your post-truth era. You're as much a part of everything that's going on now as the left, or the mainstream media, or SJWs, or whatever. You're equally to blame for this shit. So fuck you and your post-truth. Fuck you and your, the SJWs are trying to take over our minds. Fuck you and your support of Trump, no matter what he does, no matter who he wants on his cabinets, you will defend him. Fuck you for not being able to see patterns. Fuck you for not being able to make any sort of logical conclusion for what you see in front of you, other than your fear of SJWs. At this point, it's just like, well, looks like everything's going to hell in a handbasket. Maybe I should at least try to enjoy the ride, right? <laughs>